down on my bottom and it doesn't even hurt I'm gonna find a house plant gonna eat some dirt I'm gonna run around all over this house I'm gonna find an old dusty thing put it in my mouth I am baby I am trouble and I can walk I know everything to do to make the dog it jump I know everything to pull to make Squeakers, are you going to rock? Oh, careful, Aurora. Good job. Did you figure out how to do it all by yourself? Wait, wait, that one doesn't work like that. It doesn't rock. Aurora's rocks. Did you go bye bye? Go. 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 C'est 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 Didi. Tu l'as là. C'est c'est c'est. Elle est là aussi go. Did you go bye bye? Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sit, 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 Lila. Good job. Squeaker, sit, sit, sit. <laughs> hi. Can you say hi? Can you? Titi. Riala. You gonna help me clean, like, finish cleaning the carpets tomorrow? Sounds like a fun job for a baby to help with. Mm. <laughs> Are you so cute?
You a big boy. You and your mosquito bite you got. Hi, handsome. Go, Gigi. Go, Gigi. Go, Gigi. Go. Gigi, where you going? Are you going to get some milkies? Say, pick me, baby G. Pick me, baby G. <laughs> so what kind of this to you? You're so cute. Can you just stay a little baby forever? Can you just stay little forever? That's all mommy wants is just a little boy forever because he's so sweet. Oh. Fine. You can get bigger on me. And say, go, Gigi. Go, Gigi. Go, Gigi. Go. <laughs> Find your time. Hey everybody, sorry we got sidetracked for a few days and laid off the vlogs for a little bit. That's only because Connor's really been hurting hard since Michael's um, left and it's really hit him hard. Um, so every night, like I've been, every night and day, I've been um, trying to come up with fun activities to do with him at the house or things we can do with, with the babies involved besides just all of his different sports and school and everything he's involved in. So I've been trying to give him tons and tons of attention and it's still just, he's really in a kind of depressed funk. So trying to get out of him out of that and dealing with everything else that I'm trying to do with just keeping uh, the kids all surviving and everything has been hard. But Connor went to his grandparents' house this weekend for um, a couple overnights. Um, well, yeah. Uh, two overnights, I guess it was, and he um, basically kind of was in the same funk there. He hung out with one of his friends that was there um, for a while and was good for that, but then he just kind of went back to being bummed out. So i am really trying hard to like come up with different fun things for him and just keep him being a kid and not having the responsibilities of anything around here. So I've even picked up his chore list that he normally is responsible for, which is only like a few things like dishes and boring stuff like that. Um, keeping his own room clean and stuff. Um, but anything extra I've been trying to do for him um, as he kind of goes through this adjustment process, which is normal for kids who are in the military and stuff. But He's had a lot happen in these last six months between us agging, gigging in, and moving across the country, leaving old friends behind, going to a new school, and now dad's gone for um, a long time. So, and we haven't been able really to talk to him at all. So, we're hoping to be able to do that sometime um, here shortly. But in the meantime, I've just been really trying to do as much as I can for him. Um, we've been doing all of his favorite stuff, movies, ga board games, um, basketball, baseball, you name it, we've been trying it. Um, so I've got him in with a therapist here so that he can maybe start talking to them and stuff because he won't like totally tell me what is all going on or how I can solve the problem and stuff. So it hurts me to see one of my kids hurting and there's only so much I can do um, for that. But the Quints, I thought they were starting to get sick on Saturday, but it ended up just being allergies. Um, they just had a little bit of clear drainage. Um, we're super cranky and stuff, so it might have been teeth, and, or, or whatever, because a couple of them are still trying to pop up all of their two-year molars that they started a little bit ago. Um, Otherwise, they're healthy still, which is such a blessing. So it like lasted like less than 24 hours and we were good to go. But that was intense because I went all night without sleeping because it was just going from one cranky 
baby to another, and it might have been too that they were start kind of waking each other up with their fussiness, so which they normally don't do, but it kind of just ended up being that way. So, outside of that, though, we're back on track for everything. Thanks for your patience, and we'll keep everyone posted on everything that's happening. Um, so, yeah, we've just been really busy, and we're glad to have you all on the journey, and I'll be keeping up with things a lot better. So, bear with me, everyone, and we're back on track, I think. So, Connor seems to be moving in the right direction. We got things happening now. But otherwise, we hope everyone has a great night. 